Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Mail Drop Monday, and today's drop consists of a couple eBay pickups for the PC, a fab sub delivery courtesy of Jason Wento, and another NPN win. But before we get into the drop, looks like we have ourselves a World Series. Mr. Al Tuv. Jose Altuve broke the hearts of Yankee fans. But on that tip, I have vivid memories of Aroldis Chapman giving up a bottom of the eighth, two outs, game-tying home run in Game 7 of the 2016 World Series that almost cost the Cubs the title. So when he was on the bump, I was not feeling comfortable. Altuve's a beast, and when he gave up the bomb... I wasn't surprised. Uh, It's just who Aroldis is. He's the most dominant closer, except for when you need him to be the most dominant closer. And I don't know what next year's going to look like. I think he's going to opt out. um, And so we'll see if the Yankees want to keep him. Didi's uh, got his contract up. I mean, the Yankees are, they line up really well against the Astros. uh, Injuries really hurt him, but uh, we'll see how the 2020 Yankees line up. But I I think the World Series should be a good one. The Nats have been a real surprise to everybody. Uh, But, you know, it's a lot of great pitching versus a lot of great pitching. And I would say that uh, the Strohs, the show Strohs, have better hitters. Um, But uh, we'll just have to see how it plays out. Either way, it's the World Series, and I'm excited to watch. Uh, So I thought I'd bust out the Glassworks among my favorite uh, box toppers. And I wish the Gypsy Queen kept doing them. They switched to Chrome cards uh, this year. But for my money, the glassworks are where it's at, and they should just go back to it. Uh, Okay, so let's get into the mail drop. We're going to start it off with an auto of a future MVP, eh, possibly, eh, and a young man on his way to the World Series. Was really excited to get this for a good price. Oh, yeah. My first one, probably my only one, got this baby for $29. Again, tier one, just like the Bregman Auto. I think I got it for a good price because it has a little bit of like a a gloss peel up here. Um, But I don't really care. Uh, I'm not going to grade it, like I always say. And uh, I just wanted a Juan Soto autograph. And the prices are going up, just like they are with Bregman and everybody who's in the World Series. Um, but I was really fortunate, uh, to be able to get this one. So pretty cool. Got this, won this, uh, before the Nats went to the World Series. So maybe I got a a good deal that way. And I think that peel probably warded a lot of people off, but, um, I, I like tier one. I will say that I, my theory is maybe it's not the highest quality though. They're a little thicker. And they appear to sort of damage easily. They can sort of scratch and dent even. Um, And you can sort of see the corners and everything. You can see some white peel. Um, So I don't know if it's like it's such a high-end product. And I don't know if maybe it's not that well made. Um, But it's still a beautiful card. I really like earth tones. So for me, that's a cool one. Set him over here with his teammate. Okay, so let's get into the Fab Sub delivery, courtesy of Fab Sub Jason Wento, a longtime awesome Fab Sub. Uh, don't know what's in here. Uh, I think he just sort of sent this out of the kindness of his heart. So let's see what we got here. Can I? Oh, no, not gonna let me. There we go. Okay, let's see what Mr. Wento has brought us. Here's some playoff mojo for your boys. Uh, Yeah, this did arrive a little bit ago, and so it was sitting on my shelf, um, and I was planning to get to it today. But uh, So unfortunately, no longer in the playoffs. Judge was pretty crushed, um, you know, a little emotional. But he also, his defense was spectacular, uh, but his plate, Work was not. Uh, he had a good game one with that home run off Verlander, and then he kind of disappeared. He got a couple hits here and there, but did not deliver on the biggest stage with the bat, but did with the glove. Uh, so I don't know if I would like, you know, do you take one and get rid of the, like, I don't know. But uh, would have been nice to see a little more 
with the bat out of uh, Mr. Judge and everybody because they left like 20 guys on base. If they could have gotten some of those guys across, they would have won probably. On the alternative side to that, if Jordan Alvarez was clicking, they the Astros might have swept the Yankees because he's a beast and he was terrible. I think he was like one for 21 or something like that. This is a really cool looking card. I don't know if this is like a special insert or the base, because I don't know kind of what that is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice optic of Mickey Mantle. Oh, Kraken. Okay, so he disappointed a lot as well. Um, as much as I like Gary, I, he's going to be the catcher next year, but I really don't know. I mean, he, did again, did not show up with at the plate. Um, he hit that home run that didn't matter. A um, couple of really big pass balls, but his defense overall was good. Um, but man, if he just these are the biggest games of your life, and he did not show up. But I'm still hoping that uh, next year he's still so young. Um, I'm hoping that he will come around again next year. NPN winner, Mr. Severino, who looked great. Uh, came out there off the injury, was throwing almost 100, great movement. Um, I think he's back, you know. He, he, that was a long, lingering injury for him. But he came back, and he is, uh, I think, ready for 2020. Whoa, check that baby out. I think Tier 1. Let's get this off here so we can get a good look at it. I was a little worried when he got that injury that, uh, whoops, there goes all my cases. Uh, when he got that injury that uh, it could be a real career jeopardizing sort of thing, but uh, he really bounced back well. I mean, to you know, not really play all year and then to go out there and just dominate, throwing almost 100 uh, with great movement on, on the cutter or the slider, whatever he's got, um, I'll take it. And that's just a beautiful card. That's really cool. Number 30 out of 99. I actually have built out here, thanks to Fab Subs, quite a little Louis Severino relic collection. I think I've probably got three or four now. So very cool. Thank you, fellow Jason. Always appreciate all Jasons are good Jasons. Let me just pick up some of my cases here that just... Dropped all over the ground. Well done, Jason. Okay. All right, so uh, here, this uh, is a side PC pickup, uh, if I know what this is. Uh, just picked up a few random cards uh, real cheap, like a dollar off eBay, uh, especially with free shipping. Uh, and, you know, when you get them in an envelope, just, you know, it's like one stamp, so... I'm pretty sure I know what this is. It's a side PC of a PC player, though. Yeah, there it is. So I did not know this card existed. <laughs> um, I was just browsing around on eBay and always use painter's tape, people. Always use painter's tape. Just, this is amateur hour right here. Amateur hour. I will leave that in my comment. Or my, my uh, yeah, my comment on eBay. Uh, so did not know this card existed. When I saw it, they vary in price a lot. I almost bought it slabbed uh, for like 19 bucks because it's a rookie card. It's like a major league debut. Um, but then I sort of looked around and I found them out there for like a dollar. I think this one might have been a dollar ninety five. Um, and I picked this one, I think, because he had free shipping and the condition looked pretty good. But uh, the side PC aspect of it is it's actually almost like a double side PC, aside from being just a great Derek Jeter rookie card. It's got the facade, uh, even though it's a Yankee, and that's, that side PC is non-Yankees with a facade in the background. Uh, but this plays in very well to the cards of guys signing stuff side PC. And it's just a really cool looking uh, card. Like I said, never seen these before. Love the look of it. Love this sort of bronze. Great design here. And a great shot. Just a really, really 
nice looking card. So that's a nice one for the the Jeter and the guys signing side PC. Okay, another NPN win. I'm trying to think of what it could be because early and like last year, I was basically NPNing everything that I would buy, right? So if it's Heritage, like I got a box of Heritage here, right? Because I got it. Okay, there's the NPN. But this year, what I started doing was watching higher end breaks, things like Tier 1, Gold Label, Bowman Platinum, uh, Chrome Sapphire, stuff like that. And if I could catch the NPN, because not everyone shows it, sometimes I forget as well, uh, I would pause it and write that NPN down, and I've been sending those off. So I haven't really sent off anything uh, for the stuff I can afford, so I'm hoping this might be something on the higher-end product. Um, too early, I think, to be Chrome Sapphire. I, I did... Um, was it Bowman... Platinum or something like that. no that because that I bought I'm trying to, I did museum collection yeah there are a few others out there hi, uh, higher end stuff uh, and so we'll just have to see I uh, what we got here pre ripped as always let's see Ooh, oh oh it's a yicky oh man kaboom NPN drop yeah now this is what makes it all worthwhile with the NPNs. When you get a PC team and player of a high-end product, that is awesome. Wow, look at the texture on that. It's one of those great like canvas cards, as it says, canvas collection, but I'd really dig those. Those are great. Uh, and again, we got the Dan Bergeron uh, Artist Spotlight coming up. There will be autos uh, in that episode and giveaway. Let's see, does it tell us... No artist on here that I can see. All right, museum collection. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got no no artist on here. I wish I knew who did this piece. Uh, if you know who might have done this piece, uh, please do let me know. Because you know I'm all about the artist, but uh, it would be nice. I thought they always credited them. So that is very interesting that they did not credit the artist on this one. But a great card. Really love this. It's almost like purple back here. Yeah, cool. That's a great... That might be the best NPN win ever for me. Because uh, I've certainly won my fair share, which is awesome. Right? This might be my seventh or eighth NPN win. Uh, but they're not always PC teams or players. Uh, and sometimes they're just virtually commons. Uh, but it might be like a refractor of some guy you've never heard of. Uh, but this... This is what it's about. So that's awesome. Uh, all right, everybody. Well, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's episode. This week, I am going to be ripping Top's update, so stay tuned for that. Should be a good time. But looking forward to reading your comments about today. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.